limit. You, you drive at over 200 kilometers per hour. You, 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 you cannot be fined. Mm -hmm. But if you are caught on, on the spot, then you're <laughs> Oh, if you're, you're caught on the spot, yeah, of yeah, course. You're dead. But right. if, it's just, if you're just caught on, on, the, on the radar, now, they can't do anything. Back to this new measures being introduced by the local government of Beijing yes. to try to control the increase of vehicles. What, no, have, you heard about? Uh, what have you heard about? Uh, okay, about the new rules? Yeah, about the new uh, rules. I've heard... Well, I have a full list of these new rules. Okay, made I basically, think, six points. <laughs> <laughs> I think mm. everyone, what everyone probably knows is that they are now only releasing... Is that 20,000 car plates each month? Each month. And that is yeah. through lottery because I've heard that in January alone, uh, almost 10 times of that number of, car, uh, of sure. people actually applied for a car plate. Now, so it's only one out of 10 ap applications will eventually be lucky enough to have a car so, plate. You know, so it means uh, that you could be in the lottery every month and never get a car in your entire possible. life. That's possible. That's possible. That's possible. So do and not you know, buy a car until you have a lottery. Our viewers might not have a, you know, that feel uh, how how big or how small that is just give you some some idea in 2009 for that one year we had an increase of half a million mm -hmm. cars mm -hmm. uh, in Beijing in Beijing alone, in Beijing alone. Half, a million. half a million in 2009 mm -hmm. that's an average uh, of nearly 2,000 a day that's yeah. true and I've heard it was in 2009 that China overtook the US and become the world's largest car market Manufacturer or car market? Car market. Wow. And, yeah. and but the pollution became less. <laughs> <laughs> we say in Tokyo, in Japan, from the number of vehicles from 2 million to 4 million, it mm -hmm. took 22 years for that 2 million increase. Okay. And for Beijing, it took only 5 years. Mm -hmm. To reach mm -hmm. that, to have that increase of two, actually it's over two million. It's 2.2 million. So the increase of vehicles is, you know, it's crazy in Beijing. So you'll see 20,000 licenses for A each month. month. Mm -hmm. It's huge competition. Mm -hmm. It's one, one, out of, one out of 10. And I think uh, compare Beijing with Tokyo, probably is because we have such a large population in China and you know with the urbanization people from all parts of the country would love to move to big cities and I think Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou probably being the top three choices. Mm. Uh, the population of the city is becoming more affluent and then the, I think the, the, the map of Beijing is becoming bigger. There are people who cannot afford living in the center of the city, they have to live on the outskirts of the city area yeah. and therefore the only choice for them to get into the city center to go to work every day is to drive a car but because they're public transportation. Exactly. Right. That's it what I wanted not, to come It's to. not good enough. I, I just went to Tokyo. I have to say that uh, I think you have to, have you been? I haven't. Uh, you haven't. Uh, I have. You yeah. have been. Yeah. Uh, well, it's Tokyo, very much like Shanghai. Have you seen any traffic in Tokyo? I haven't seen it even once. I have seen it. Well, but I think uh, the good thing about Tokyo, as I mentioned, it's very much like Shanghai. Mm. Is that in the city center, you have a very good subway yeah, system. Yeah, well, well uh, I'm very much concentrated. It's it's still ten times better than Shanghai yeah. in terms of public transportation. Yeah. There are still a lot of places. I know you Shanghai. just came back from Tokyo. <laughs> no, 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 but hey, you have to say Not that just Shanghai. Two months in, ago. In China, in China, Shanghai is is close. It's maybe uh -huh. the best public transportation system, especially for the subway. Yeah. But. There is no way it comes close to Tokyo, to Paris, to London in terms of public, mm -hmm. uh, especially from the subway. Yes. We're catching up. We're catching up. Yeah, let's, you're catching up. But let's the, come the, back. The, 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 the truth is that you need a car. That's the main problem. That's right. true. You need a car. You have that demand. And uh, luckily in Beijing, there are many taxis, which is not the, the case in Shanghai. It's mm -hmm. much harder sometimes. Mm. If it's raining in Shanghai, you can't find a taxi. It's impossible. Right. It really, uh, it also depends on where you are located at the time. And sometimes wow. yes. it's rather difficult to find a taxi in, in Beijing. And that's why so many people want to buy a car. And now it's only 20,000 uh, license for each month. And there are so many people who want to buy a car. So who gets that plate. Who gets that opportunity? The system is a lottery system. Mm -hmm. Basically, you apply on the website or you go to a certain place to so apply for that, to for that right. So it's supposed to be fair and transparent and mm -hmm. random. It, it right. will never be totally fair and transparent. <laughs> uh, it's, it, you, you cannot avoid that. Uh, so so it's, um, you, we don't know. I mean, according to the uh, system design, it should be transparent and fair to everyone. So everyone's mm -hmm. got 
mm. an equal chance. Out of these 20,000 licenses for each month, uh, the well, 88 percent of them, or nearly one, uh, nearly 17,000, will go to individual owners, car owners. While the rest, well, two percent will go to places like this car rental companies, oh. you know, for mm -hmm. taxi mm -hmm. companies, and the rest, it's about 10 percent will go to, uh, say, these companies uh, mm -hmm. for their own mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. The thing was that a lot of people that replied to me, uh, everyone has his own way of thinking mm -hmm. about that. And a lot of people are saying that there were too many official plates, too many cars that were cars that people were buying in the name of, uh, uh, it's not only company, it's a lot, because there's a lot of, 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 of government organizations, uh, of government organizations mm -hmm. in Beijing, and a lot of people kind of use that mm -hmm. to get more cars. And so a lot of people are saying, well, this, with this new rule, still, you allow too many of, of those mm -hmm. cars, mm -hmm. and, and the people who are paying the price for having all those organizations in mm -hmm. Beijing are still the average people. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I mean, it, that's been taken into consideration, because according to this new rule, mm -hmm. in this new lottery system, and for all these you know, individual private car owners, you have the chance each month, that is once every month it's basically uh every month from the first to the eighth of every month there will be that lottery so the everyone first, who's the first applying eight days of, first of eight every days. month you can apply you now you right is that now it's that's actually when the lottery is going to happen oh okay. so for the rest of the time you can apply for your oh. for your right for your chance by the 5th of uh, January we've already had 130,000 applicants 130, <laughs> applying competing 000. for 20 20,000 so it's one out of 6.5 mm -hmm. okay and that was the only chance. for the first five days only for the, the first month and the policy says if you don't get a plate this month you stay in there in the pool mm -hmm. so that means for the second month we're going to have New applicants coming in. Sure. Oh, so can you apply again for, for the you second? Not again, but wait. Once you've applied, you're in. You're in, but but you're you don't have more chances for the next lottery. That's the thing. Oh. But you will always be one of the oh. one of the bigger pool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so in, in the second month there will be new applicants coming and in. the older and applicants the old one. from the past month. There will be so that's a bigger pool. But it's there almost double getting size. bigger. It's very complicated. Things are getting indeed complicated. <laughs> so we need to take a break, and when we come back, <laughs> more stories about these new rules. We'll be right back. Check data usage, enjoy mobile internet. Welcome back to Crossover. So things are getting more complicated as yes. to how we are going to get a car. And the latest information is by the 8th of this month, we've already had over 200,000 people mm -hmm. applying mm -hmm. for that 20. Because you, if, when you don't have that right, if you don't win a position mm -hmm. in that lottery system, that means you're not entitled to buy a car, to own a car in Beijing, according so to the new system. So are there people who are actually applying for a car plate first? Yeah, I mean, you have to have a actually, car plate first before you can, can buy, buy a, a car. car. Right. So Otherwise, virtually, and for this month, uh, it, lottery is not going to happen until in the latter part of this month. So. Basically, lots of uh, dealers, they're taking their holidays because, right. you know, right. basically they're not able to sell any cars. But there's a good part about all this. This, is, this gives place to a new form of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Uh, just, hey, how is that going to happen? Tell us. Do, oh, come do, on. Do Everyone not knows. politicalize everything. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, not, it's not politics. No. It's mm. in any country, if you have something like this happening, 
there will always be people who find a way. So, How do they so find a way? The, the Come new, on. A new car okay. plate can become a gift. Let me <laughs> ask you this question. Why do some uh, car dealers now uh, offer this package? If you buy this car, uh, buy, and, and they give you a, lim a time limit. If you buy this, this car today, mm -hmm. you, will, you will get your lottery. How did, who, can, they, who can make sure? Well, they, they, okay. they assure it to you. But How do they do that? Even, we, even when that is happening, that maybe that is happening uh, in the joint part of the two systems, right? And I guess when time moves on to the second month, third month, that will not happen. It's actually very difficult for them to find that breach. No, I'm but, just thinking that people like me who are potential car buyers would mm. eventually give up the idea. Oh, because yeah. you, it's, it's getting so hard to have a car play. I'm kidding, I, I don't think it's necessary to have a car in Beijing. Sometimes it's, it would be more practical. Very often you go, you, you buy stuff, you want to buy a lot of stuff. And it's mm. very, if you're alone and, and you want to buy a lot, it's mm. very hard mm. if you don't have your own car to actually push your, your, your okay. everything to the so camp. Okay, this is, this is the few things, but for most of the time, I mean, it's more practical to, to travel by cab, honestly. It's, it, and it's not the end of these new rules. No. Mm -hmm. uh, the third part, because we have six points, and the third oh, point of this By the way, all the rules apply to foreigners living in Beijing. Yeah, well, foreigners, no, not according to no? what I have here. Mm. Uh, th basically, because so the, the, the third point. So you have a better chance The third point is more about an, an who can buy, who can't. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. if you ha if a, a local resident, mm -hmm. then that means you have that right to get into that lottery system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you are, say, from other places, you, yeah. if you don't have a local huko, the mm -hmm. official residence certificate, mm -hmm. that means you have to be here. You have to prove you've been living, working in Beijing for five years here comes in a row, oh, okay. and. And you need to have a local, local temporary residence yes. certificate okay. or something like that. Okay. And you How have do they prove if they are like a freelancer? And that's a good question. Then, then you need to have, uh, say, uh, local securities, uh, insurances, local oh, insurances. Okay. Mm. So when you can prove that you've been living and working wow. legally and properly for five years, then you get the chance to be in that lottery system. Wow. Not to the say the when more you're papers get you have at home, <laughs> the more chances you have to get a car. Right, right. This is like you, you're having this entry for uh, running for the top student or something. You know, I behave well for the past five years. I pay my tax. Exactly. I had a steady job. And, and now I get a chance to go for the license. And then you go lottery. for an interview and then come all those so-called <laughs> doctors and whatever professors that sell those CDs and DVDs t uh, teaching you how to make a good car interview. <laughs> what to wear, what to say. What is a new profession, you know, giving people new That's work opportunities. And you'll, see that, opportunity. you'll see that on the TVs at the airport every uh -huh. time you wait for a plane. You know, and but. then they would do a live show about this, you know, out of 50 million people or something, and you compete on TV. Oh, yeah, and, and we'll be invited. To, to be a guest well, that is there. a good idea for a reality show, though. So. <laughs> You're thinking too much, you know. <laughs> Next one, point four. Uh, uh, remember in the Shanghai case, because lots of your friends, maybe they, they decided yeah. to buy uh, a car, but using a, a, a plate for of other places, yeah, yeah, right? out of Shanghai. Okay. Plate. If you have a plate of other places, that means you can't be driving in Beijing in working days from 7 to 9. Mm-hmm. Is that in, in and Beijing 17 or in, to 20 in city hours area, in center areas? Uh, that's within the fifth ring road. So if you if you don't have a local plate, that means you're not allowed in, especially in those rush hours. Mm -hmm. mm. So that basically means you cannot drive to work unless you you want to drive to the supermarkets every day after eight. Well, right? that basically rules out the possibility that you buy a car and using a, a plate right, and license of right, other no, places. Right. Well, it's harsh, but it's necessary. Beijing has become horrible, well, especially I, I in those times of the, mm. in those times of every year, the end of the year, starting mid mid December. Yeah. Up when till the, the end of January the or when, whenever, yeah. Through New Year and whenever the, festival. yeah. Mm. Those, Point those five. times are horrible in Beijing. Mm. Point five. Okay. At the same time, they're reducing the parking fees outside the fifth ring road. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that means they're encouraging people 
to park their cars park outside the city centre. And take, uh, t take the subway, right? Well, sure. obviously, and, that's what yeah, they want right. to encourage. Well, that would be an idea to have actually huge parking lots of like eight storeys uh, near to, to subway, subway stations. stations. There. Yeah. I, I think that by the end of this year, mm. the end of 2011, we will have five new lines in Beijing or the end of yes. 2012? Well, yes. yeah, no, no, well no, 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 five no, no, new no. lines have already been opened to the public yeah. not long ago, maybe in the five but, but more, those five, lines, five more new lines. Yes, they actually connect the um, basically the, the suburban area of Beijing to the city mm. center. But still, there are lots of people who are living along the Fifth Ring Road area. And these people, they need, need to be transported into the city every day. So, well, Beijing need to but, really keep doing, uh, keep digging the subways. Yes, but even inside the city because the main traffic problem is still inside the fifth ring road and inside the city even inside the third ring road or the, the second ring yeah. road but you have a lot of places where you could walk 30 minutes 40 minutes and still not find a subway station yeah but and I mean that's why you see lots of these you know construction sites and new lines are being built but we don't know right. when they're put right. to use yet well, we, we hope f for the best hopefully I, I used to actually take the cab systematically and now more and more I take the subway I mean, that's basically yeah. the same problem either you drive or you take the cab you're, you're on the ground on the and yeah. when there's traffic there's right. traffic Right. Now I take the, sometimes I really take the subway because I know, well, first of all, for the, yeah. the times where Maybe it's really practical. Maybe 20 years later, oh. you, you can drive, drive your own little plane. Well, the thing is, I would, <laughs> you, know, you know, I would actually take the, I would be on bicycle all the time if mm -hmm. I didn't have to do shows. I, can, mm -hmm. I, I cannot be sweaty. Um, you know, I cannot be sweaty, and with the clothes, you have to take a suit. You mm -hmm. have to. It's not practical to be on no, bike. Otherwise, it would really take my bike much more. And yeah. point number six, basically, that has something to do with the deadline of the old, previous old system and the new system, because there is a, 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 a joint mm -hmm. period of the mm -hmm. two systems overlapping, and it basically says if you buy a car before a certain date, then mm -hmm. it, the old policy. But if it is after that, and that is the new policy. What's mm -hmm. the, the, the date? That's the 23rd and 24th of December last year. Mm -hmm. 23rd of December Finished. last year. Oh. Yeah, that's the last day and 24th was the beginning day of the uh, new system. That's mm -hmm. the end of the old system. That means after that, you have to wait until all these, you know, details of the new rules are coming out. Okay. Well, they had to do it because a lot of people who actually had ordered the car and, and, and were waiting. New you know. year, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, when we come back after the short break, we'll be talking about what happened that day, that night. Actually, many of them worked for like 24 hours that day. We'll be right back after a short break. You're watching Crossover. And welcome back to Crossover. So what exactly happened on that final, final day of the old policy, old system? I don't know. I didn't even try to know that. <laughs> I, I, I've heard stories about it, actually. Actually, I think on TV news, they covered mm. the, 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 um, that that was the last night before um, the deadline that you, you were talking about. I've heard that many of the, the car sales shops actually opened until like 3 or 4 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, they sell cars for like every five minutes no. or every Just ten make, minutes. Make things a like that. wild guess of how many cars Beijing sold for that day. On that day? The One 20th, day? Yeah. 23rd, 24th? 20,000. Mm, so that's like, you know, the quota is for one month. Yeah. No, I would say rule. more than that. I mean, I, okay, I just triple your number, maybe like okay, 60,000. 60. It's 160,000. <gasps> oh, gosh. For that each day. Remember, that's great. Remember the quota for the whole year of the new system 2011 is 240,000. Right. And for that, for that single day, it's 160,000. Because everyone wants to catch the final train. Uh-huh. Right. And that's why all these, crazy. you know, dealers, it's car crazy. dealers, all these voice shops, and actually uh, all these stores, they are open for the whole day. And that is not <laughs> even enough. And it seems, you know, it's like the white cabbage and everyone is, okay, this is mine. Right. So, yeah. And they have to fight for a car. I've heard this extreme case that there were like three gentlemen fighting for one car and one of them actually scratched and the car with his yeah. keys and make sure no one else would want that car. Okay, you want to play so hard? Extreme. Yes, I want to play hard. And then the other guy came over. 
He broke the window. Okay, this is mine. <laughs> hey, let's play trampoline. <laughs> what? That's crazy. It's it's crazy. They should have had a kind of limit for the car dealers too. Mm. But but here's the question. It's uh, my my guess is that if they were able to sell that much in a day, it would mean that as soon as you have. Uh, the invoice dating of that day mm -hmm. uh, whenever you get your car because some t some cars I mean there's no way they have all those cars in Beijing at the same time mm -hmm. so right. you will have to wait for your car let's say the, the car you're waiting for is a car that is not that's very expensive not that common you'll have to wait a few months but right. I guess judging by that that as soon as right. your invoice is that's true and w what I heard about I mean this is basically a story because uh, mm -hmm. you know obviously you don't have that many cars in in that store you don't really see those cars it's not even manufactured mm -hmm. but basically what they did was at the time you paid your money mm -hmm. you had your invoice that's we think that deadline okay. mm -hmm. at, the, at the same time you're giving a number that's the number of the plate of the engine of the car, which is supposedly yours in the mm -hmm. future, maybe in the coming uh -huh. two, three months, mm -hmm. but that's your car. So to some extent, you've, you've paid and you've bought the car, which is yet to be assembled. Right. It's like you've paid this much money for nothing. For something no, that has, it's, has, it's, not being, has not even started being well, produced yet. It's, it's like ordering a tailor-made suit, you know, it's right. the same concept. Oh. So it's, it's not that new, but it's unbelievable. But that still, I'm, I'm shocked by that number. That's mm. 160. 160. Thousand. Thousand so you I'm were, you, yeah, shocked, you right? were a hundred thousand short <laughs> in I, your in your <laughs> right. So, so and uh, everyone is talking about what's going to happen next. Well, the first thing I, I preview now is that judging, but what you, what you just enumerated, uh, I think they have made a, a set of rules that no one in the whole world can actually understand at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, you get, is, is the, I heard a story about that, about, uh, no, it was the film by Michael Moore, you know, about capitalism, mm -hmm. and, and, he, and there were rules in Wall Street mm -hmm. that they were so sure that, and they knew that no lawyer in the world could understand, and if there was that specimen of lawyer that could understand that rule and actually uh, succeed uh, on, uh, at court mm -hmm. uh, by, 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 you know, on, uh, for a trial, they would hire that lawyer for such a high price that the lawyer would actually go to them. Okay. You know, That's this, true. this kind of mm -hmm. yeah. it, it kind of makes me think about that. We need, need to have consultants. <laughs> right, right. You, you have a set of rules that are so complicated because mm -hmm. you will have different cases. Right. You'll, it'll be like, you know, for every set of rules you have, yeah, so it's going to be like this if there's this, but except mm -hmm. for these people, those people, those people, and except mm -hmm. if you were born before that day, but there's different cases. Uh -huh. If it was a Chinese New Year or... <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, it's only natural because these are the new rules when they're introduced. Yeah. Maybe not every uh, possibility, possible element has been considered and it, when it only comes out when it comes out. But I, I have a, a question. What about people who own more than one car? If you already have a car, and you want to maybe buy a new car to replace it, right? Uh -huh. Okay. You, have, you don't have to go to the lottery system. Oh, that's the interesting point. You can keep, keep your own car plate? No, not the plate. Mm -hmm. You're going to change the plate, but you don't have to go through the whole process. So you can buy it anyway? Oh. Yes, you can buy it, but you have to sell your car first. Ah, to prove that you would not possess two cars at, a t at, at okay, the same the, time. Okay, the new rule says you one person, no, but, well, one ID if, has only one car. Okay, what uh, if I already have three cars? That's, yeah. um, then, that's, you know, uh, that applies to the old system. Okay, so I can use my three cars as usual. But not new cars. Okay, so I cannot buy a, a fourth car. No. But when the three cars gets older and I have if, to... If you want to replace one of them, no. Okay. So, 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 so you are entitled to one car? No. Okay. According so, to my understanding. So gradually, it is down to one person, one car. Yeah. Oh. So okay. So okay. I understand. If you have even two cars mm -hmm. and you have to replace one of them, no. it's impossible. No way. You cannot have. You you'll have either to uh, to get rid of one of the cars right. and use the other one, or right. sell the two in order to be able to That's buy the right. one. That's okay. true. And the things it is even well, it's also getting difficult for us to sell that car, because. Anyone who is going to buy the car need to have the plate first. Mm -hmm. Then they'll have to go through the lottery system <laughs> first to get the plate before they can buy a car. I mean, it doesn't matter, oh it's a second-handed car, 
always a new Let car. Let me ask you a question. Are you trying to buy a second car? How come do you know everything that well? Because <laughs> we're doing this show, you know? <laughs> we're doing, I, I was doing my homework while you are not. <laughs> you, you're, you're, this, you're this one of the... This whole thing is becoming hard math for me. I mean, to exactly. me, it's just like so complicated. So the consequences, one of the consequences is one of, many of these second-handed car dealers, mm -hmm. they're going out of this market. Yeah. Because once you've I'm been through about. the whole complicated process of trying to get that, that ride, you know, one position out of, for the first month, 200,000 people, uh, you yeah. don't want to buy a second-hand car. I know, I know. And also I'm thinking even for first-hand cars, and the, the, the car salesperson, no wonder they're taking holidays. First of all, during the last days of, of December.